So I'm Dan Johnson speaking with Michael Didierian yes. and Pierre yes. Beaulieu. Pretty close. Yep. The old French classes come into some value finally. Two things I want to talk about. We are so familiar with your props on the front or maybe the back of airplanes. Mm -hmm. Many people are enjoying the Duke props now in the United States. You have a big representation in Europe, but your persistence in this country has paid off well, it appears. I see your props everywhere and I hear lots of complimentary things about them. That's great. We've Thank talked you. about those in previous videos, yes. but you are also increasingly involved with putting what I'll call props on the top of airplanes. Maybe rotors would be a better term, but this is for both drones, small exactly, things yeah. I guess, yes. and bigger things like what is now being known as EVTOLs, which is a lot of letters meaning electrically driven vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, which unless you've been asleep and not followed any news, you've seen mm -hmm. there's lots of development from That's right, Airbus yeah. and Boeing down to companies you've never heard of seems to be quite a growing thing and you're on top of this. Tell me a little bit about the, what I'm calling the prop on the top of the yeah, wing, yeah, Michael, right. and what, what, what the company Duke is doing. Uh, You're a French company, yes. and we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but this work is being done in France, correct? That's right. Okay, yeah, exactly. tell me a little yeah. more. Indeed, uh, we, we start to work on that topic uh, like four or five years ago, and uh, we learned a lot about rotor blades, because it's not about propellers now, it's about rotors. Like on helicopters, or if, uh, exactly uh, like on a multicopter UAV. And so now we are capable to design and manufacture uh, big blades for rotor, and we develop a specific machine to, to, to be able to do a 8 meter diameter rotor blade. 8 for meter, wow. Helicopters. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's a big blade. That's exactly. Ar around yeah. 25 feet, that's, that's a big blade. That's right. Uh, like uh, for similar helicopter uh, of uh, Air 22 Robinson, for example, is, okay. uh, this is the size of rotor that ah, we can okay. do today. Okay. And we also do a smaller rotor, like a 3 meters diameter. It's like uh, 100 uh, inches diameter. And uh, we use that prop, that specific rotor, for, uh, for multi-copter uh, UAV uh, drones, for a flying car, for example, or VTOL aircraft. And uh, that's a new application, completely different to propeller, but we use all the skill we have uh, in composite for, to, to design and produce, uh, to produce a propeller. And we use that to produce a rotor blade uh, for helicopter and uh, multi-copter. So, this interesting development that I mentioned where you've been on the front of airplanes, the back of airplanes, you've got all different kinds of props. Uh, rotor blades, however, are, are different than a prop. They, instead of having the twist, the thickness change, the length differences, the shape, the curvatures, many things. A prop is a very complex yeah. thing. Um, a rotor blade strikes me as, or, or a multi-copter blade strikes me as quite a different yeah, thing, is right. it? Uh, indeed, a propeller has a important twisting on the blade because it's making move forward the aircraft, it's making thrust to, to move forward the aircraft, and aircraft has uh, wings, uh, the plane has wings, fixed wing, but with a rot rotor uh, blade, we, we are the wings, rotative wings of the aircraft. It's just a spinning and wing. Exactly, that's a spinning wing. And so that's why it's really different. The design of the blade is not the same for sure. Uh, we are closer than the design of helicopter blade. Th th that's the idea, to have a lot of trust for vertical takeoff. Yeah. And you've acquired a whole new machine exactly. just to work yes. on this concept. That's uh, right, this. because we need to be able to produce really long blade. And uh, according to the process we have in composite, we develop a custom machine. We design it from uh, scratch. Oh, really? Exactly. You design the machine as well? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, do all the manufacturing of it. And now we can produce in series uh, four meter long blade, so eight meters uh, diameter rotor. Wow, okay. That's, uh, those are much bigger things than you've done in the yeah. past. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, good luck with that. Yes. That part Thanks. of aviation, I think, is very exciting. I see it developing. I'm going to keep paying attention to it. Yeah. So now I want to come back to the stuff we have today, the props that you're making today, and I want to talk about how you support your U.S. growing U.S. business. You've mm -hmm. been very successful in Europe for many years. Now I see you being quite successful in the U.S., and that means you probably need something closer to the customer. That's France right. is a friendly country yes. for us, but it's yeah. a long ways away. So. 
You have a new man here now, Pierre Beaulieu, right, yeah. is like, uh, yeah. going to help you with uh, a new operation. Why don't you hand the microphone yep. or give it to uh, uh, Pierre and uh, tell me a little bit about what's new in the USA for Duke Elise. Uh, what is new is a new company. It's a completely uh, U.S. company that we, we are starting uh, at, the, at the beginning of uh, the next year. So uh, we will present this uh, new company during uh, an event uh, in uh, Sebring. And uh, it will be uh, very nice for, for everybody here to have uh, uh, all the sales and uh, the support. And, uh, Excellent. Well, we really appreciate that. Uh, one of your fellow French companies, uh, Behringer, has done uh, with wheels and brakes, has done something similar. I think it's been a good success for them. Yeah. And the customers like it. As I said, we're friendly with France. We like to do business with France, no problem, but it is a long ways away. So people worry about delivery time. It's nicer to have it closer to home. Mm -hmm. And Sebring is an ideal location. It's a popular place. Yeah. So at the Sebring Sport Aviation Expo, Next year, 2019, you will yeah. open your new facility. Yes. For and you're going to have a little party for us, I hear. So. Yes, and the party is uh, open for everybody. You Excellent. can come, and you are welcome, and you, you will see uh, how we, uh, we will be installed and in, uh, what we will do in the near future. Beautiful. So what is the date of your event in uh, Sebring? This is uh, the end of January. Okay. Uh, the exact date is... Uh, uh, the 25. And right during the event then? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I think this is the 15th running of uh, Sebring coming up, so kind of a significant year. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're joining several other companies that have decided to make Sebring their home. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting, and we welcome you to the USA. And Thank you. Folks, it's, this is not just a party for uh, people in the media business or people in the aviation business, but they want everybody to come and have a look. So come on down to the Sebring Show. There's another good reason to go to the Sebring Sport Aviation Expo, where you can visit the new Duke Elise facility, plus see all the airplanes on which their props are installed. Sounds great. Well, we'll look forward to you there. For those that have more questions about it or want to contact you today, even before this new facility opens, what web address can we send them to, Michael? It's www.duke-elysis.com. Okay, very good. Lots of information about Duke and much information about all the airplanes that are using your props and enjoying them. You can find that on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Michael, Thank you very much. Pierre, and myself here at the Land Showcase. Don't miss the 15th Annual Sport Aviation Expo at the Sebring Regional Airport, January 23-26, 2019. The Sport Aviation Expo provides the opportunity to review aircraft and do demo flights. The event features light sport aircraft and includes kit planes, powered parachutes, trikes, gyros, amphibians, drones, ultralights and electric powered aircraft. With over 150 different aircraft on display, including the Duke Ellis line of propellers. Sebring is a show where attendees can spend time talking to factory reps, checking out their dream plane, hanging out in the forums for the day, or just passing the time hanger flying, with friends old and new. There's also a long list of great speakers with talks ranging from informative to inspirational. Again the dates for the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo at Sebring Regional Airport are January 23-26, 2019. Look forward to seeing you there.